Hello everybody and welcome back to more Nuclear Throw and we are jumping in again. This time as Crystal, we got two weapons set up, the Splinter and the Glove. I just thought we'd open ourselves up to a few different potential opportunities that may come our way. And I'll grab the Crown of Inversion as we like to do. But yeah, I thought those two weapons would be like a decent ones to start with because then we've got Bolt Marrow in the bag or Extra Feet we can do stuff with. And I think both of those are a really good start. And they, they, they both translate reasonably well to other... Um, other the stuff so i'm pretty excited to try this out i'm gonna go with power inversion um power craving sorry right off the bat because it's one that i actually really like but don't really take that often anymore i feel like it's something i used to take literally all the time when the uh mod first started appearing on the channel but now i just kind of don't touch it very much and i quite like it so i don't know why i don't uh but let's grab this that was do you know i did that I did that, and I immediately was like, this isn't going to be a good idea. And guess what? <laughs> As if by magic, it wasn't. It was an awful idea, but we shall prevail. Ah, oh, man, it's, it's, that, it's that like little bit when you stop. If you can keep moving, it's really, really hard for this glove to let you down. But as soon as you stop moving, it becomes an issue. Dude, let's let's uh, let's let's chill out here, shall we? Maybe I should use my um, splinter gun a little more often on enemies that need using the splinter gun for. Also, as well, little side piece of information here: I'm playing as a character that literally has the built-in ability to shield. It might be a good idea to utilize that. How do you think? Do you think that might work? Maybe it will. I should probably use it when plausible. Oh my god. There's a lot going on over there. These little fellas get on my nerves quite heavily. Oh my god. Use the shielding. Why can't I just rack it into my sweet little brain? It's a good idea to use the shielding on occasion. Oh, you need to back off. No. Okay, I, tr I tried, I tried. Right, what are we going to go for here? I might go for max damage setup again. I haven't done that in some time. And it, it's... By never. I was going to say never failed me. By never failed me, I mean that I've never really gotten that far with it. But I enjoy it. <laughs> as, long, as long as I enjoy it, I feel like it's worthwhile. I could go to Courtyard. It's a little early, though. A little early for that. But in the last episode, we managed to uh, we managed to like beat the um, the new boss dude, which I think was pretty fun. I really enjoyed that. I won't say new. It's it's a it's a boss that's been in the game a while, but I haven't touched it in a while, so it's new to me. Beautiful stuff. Blood shotgun. Interesting. I'm guessing blood projectiles don't have any bounce to them, uh, like they would if it was an actual shotgun. If we got shotgun shoulders, I'm gonna guess that doesn't work. Ooh, big chest as well. I'd like to make the nail gun work. I feel like the nail gun could be really, really good. So we got fists. We go with this now as well. This is a very, very good weapon for just smashing through all of this. Good, good, good. We don't have a weapon to use on that, do we? Oh, ho, ho, baby. We do. I was like, we're not going to be able to go through there, are we? And the game just presents it on a platter to us. I like it. Oh, dude, that damage right now with this setup is immense. <laughs> we are absolutely killing it. What's going on up here? Okay, we could sacrifice a weapon mod. I actually probably will do that, to be honest. Right. No, 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 no. Straight into here. Okay, and flexible elbows, I think, also lends itself towards a damage build pretty heavily. Especially when it's got the reach that it does. That's the thing about flexible elbows that's so good. The damage is good, the resource is good, but the reach it has is insane. 
Way more than you expect. Grenade revolver, no thank you. Bullet popper. I like it when you call me bullet popper. Um, right. What we got going on here? Bloodlust, I think, is probably pretty decent for us here because we want to stay at um, full HP at all times if we can. So that we can grab that sweet, sweet extra 35% damage. Splinter Yo Yo. Bouncer Crossbow. I'll take that as a backup, to be honest. I'll take that as a backup. We'll get some of that on there. So Splinter Gun's a really good starter weapon, so we're not doing too bad right now. Electric Gun. Really? Mini Lightning Pistol? Is it not Is it not all tiered? Seems like it's not all tiered. Because that is uh, an abysmally low tier item to get from that. It's kind of offensive, to be honest. I hope my flexible elbow saves me a decent amount here. Oh, dude, I did not see you there. You you kind of snuck up on me. I mean, luckily your accuracy was just as trash as mine, so it kind of worked out. Right, there's the regular splinter gun coming in. We're already up to level 7 here. Okay. Keep moving through. Inverted time. And there's the final piece of the damage setup. So we are going to be killing stuff at alarming rates now. It's going to be actually beautiful. Ooh, Splinter Spear Launcher. I'm intrigued by that. What's Splinter about it exactly? Does it just launch Splinters and Spears? I can't really tell. Splinter Spear Auto Burst. So this is a burst weapon technically, so I guess it would work with Tails End then, right? It's a bad hit. This is doing very good damage though, very respectable, so I'm not complaining right now. Um, I guess we go for Plutonium Hunger here now. I did not see the inverted box there. Oh my god. This could be so bad. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. This has gone so terribly. I need to be really careful here. Thank God for that healing there. Okay, that box just got annihilated. I'll come back to you, sheep. Ooh, a scythe as a secondary is a pretty good idea. I will take the scythe as secondary. Having melee backup, we have learned, is very important. Cool, right. Sheepy, I would like to take you home now. Thank you. Yeah, this damage setup is kind of wild. We are wrecking enemies with a weapon that is good, but not like... It's wrecking them a lot more than you'd expect. <laughs> Eat mushroom. about the swarm is doing a lot of damage too okay any more things for damage I think I'm just gonna go with tough shell on this one realistically I did not expect you quite yet good sir Hence why I just took stupid damage there. But you should be dead in like another few hits. There you go. Doing great damage right now. So bosses don't really stand a chance. Energy. Oh, I thought there was an energy scythe then. And I was really excited. Ooh, crystal bee skin. Yay. Didn't even mean to do that, baby.
Man, this has ended up working out really well for us, this. This build. All kind of unintentionally came together. This came together very nicely, actually. Good, good. Bolt Bomb. Now that's kind of saucy, but honestly the ammo consumption on that is going to get me killed, I'm pretty sure. So I can't really take it. Right. Let's have a little look-see. Plus 6 match HP, really good. Um... Teleport after shielding. Shielding fires lasers. All lasers... All lasers become bouncy. Okay, we are coming back to that as a build. Um, shorter shield. Shoot while shielded. While stationary, increased reload. Significantly shorter shield. Deflect projectiles. Home in. And vulnerable to all damage while shielding. Longer shield cooldown. Honestly, on this run, I'm not really shielding that much. So the plus 6 HP, although boring, is just the easiest way to go. It just simply makes sense. Okay, good, good. We don't need to go to the cloud area this time either. Dude. The amount of damage we're outputting right now is redonkulous. I'm liking it a lot. One-shotting those guys is hilarious. We just two-shot the big dog as well. That's wild. You never see that. More for rare. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. I'm going, gonna go invert. Now, one shotting enemies that should not be getting one shot by a weapon at tier 7. <laughs> it's beautiful. Ow, I just literally walked right into that. Okay. Good to go. Take me into here, please. Explosive, add that to it, why not? I think at this point I could probably do I could probably do this. So therefore I shall. I'm a little wary, but I think I can do it. I think my damage and my AoE damage is enough to make this work. I'm not liking the layout of this area, though, right now. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Blood Bloodlust was a huge get, by the way. Bloodlust was so good for us. We need, like, more swarm on this. I did not get to see what that was, but that sounded pretty awesome. Toxic laser rifle. I kind of wish I'd have taken the all lasers become bouncy now, because that would have been... Uh, that's, that's a build I have to come back to. I just can't see a world in which that... where that isn't amazing. In fact, I'm going to take it just to see what it does. Oh, laser rifles are the ones where you hold them down. Do they count as, like, burst, then? Auto burst, yeah. I thought they would. Nothing going on down there. And then Crown Glutton. Unfortunately, there's a lot of enemies left while I'm fighting the Crown Glutton here, which isn't ideal. I'm just getting an intermittent, like, fucking path of crows.
The Wazer rifle, by the way. Real good. Don't know how much it being toxic is helping, but overall this is good. Just really good for taking out swaths of enemies at once. Right, again, take out all the rest of these fellas first. Super nuke launcher sounds incredibly dangerous. All good on that front. As much as it might kill me, I have to at least fire this. Oh my god, it just fires four nukes. I kind of forgot there was no walls, so they're just going to chill there. Okay, um, what do we want to go with this? Genuinely don't know. I think this is, is good, going with that. Oh, there you go. Let's get rid of Explosive for more Swarm, thank you. Tennis racket! Yes! This literally just got added recently. <laughs> what a cool idea. I'm gonna try it out. Where's a rifle? You are beautiful. But tennis racket literally just got added from one of the competition winners. I think it's a really, really cool idea for a uh, <laughs> for a weapon. I'm willing to try it out. It's also like a melee weapon as well. It does a melee swing. Okay, I am absolutely getting burned right now. This is not... Yeah, that did not go well. Wow, I got steamrolled there. My goodness. Um, I've never really had the inverted dude do that much damage to me so quickly before. I had so much health to work with. <laughs> That was going to be such a good run. Oh my lord, that was going to be such a good run. But yeah, the, the laser one, I'm definitely going to play into. I need to unlock myself some, like, laser weapons to start with. And play into that ultra, because that could be a lot of fun. Definitely should have been shielding there, but I don't think my shield would have even blocked the uh, cube projectiles anyway. So, I don't think it would have mattered. I don't think it would have mattered one bit. This looks like it's going to be a little bit of a shorter run. It happens on occasion. We It's always when we have like a really good run that ends a little too early. That the shorter runs, shorter episodes, should I say, come about. But that was a fun one. The, the damage we were outputting there. If you go full damage build, boy, you do some good, good damage. Doing it. I'm just going straight in. I don't care. Nah, this was a terrible idea. <laughs> I can feel the damage lacking already. We've only got flexible elbows to help us out here. Wow. Curse weapon, it's a shovel. I might try and grab that uh, mutation that makes the game more difficult, but weapons higher tier. I might grab that, like, right off the rip and see if that helps in, a, in like, a future run. Really? You're going to do me dirty like that? The moment I spawn in. Yeah, this is going to be rough. <laughs> I made a mistake coming here this early. I really did. Also, I want my little laser crown. Yeah, unfortunately, that's going to end the episode, I think. Uh, that was a really good first run. But as you guys always know, I try to keep my nuclear throne episodes a little bit shorter. On occasion, if we have a banger of a run, or we have like some really, really rough starts, I'll do like a... 40 minute episode but i like to keep these to generally like 20 to 30 minutes i just think the game suits it more and if we have a run that gets to throne i'm usually pretty happy um it's just a little bit of a shame sometimes when we get to throne and then die to something stupid like that especially on loop one i die on loop one a lot i really do wish i could more consistently get to later loops but i think you just have to play like towards the meta a little bit more and I don't really enjoy doing that so much. I just enjoy taking what I want to take. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.